All right, it's day four. We've just packed up camp and uh, the girls are just leaving. I've got a bit of a paddle today. I think it's about 12 k's or something up to the next campsite. I've got a couple of little issues going on. I've got an ear infection. I think I can still dive with it, but I'm going to have to sort of be a bit careful. Um, and I've also got my broken fin, so uh, that's not great. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is head up. I'm going to get most of the paddle out of the way and uh, then dive in the afternoon. And uh, we'll see how we go. Got a seal. Hey, Mr. Seal. Hey, Mr. Seal. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. Hey, Mr. Seal. Hey. <laughs> He's giving his face a wash. Does seem to be plenty of seals here. Okay. Well, I just found this cool ass little inlet. And uh, I think we'll go take a tour through it, shall we? Be rude not to. Look at this. We've got big boss man seals sitting here on the rock. Hey. Hey, Mr. Boss Man. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Just another cool rock formation. Awesome. Another cool rock. Good little roost for the birds. Someone must have climbed up there at some point. Because if you look closely up there, the lead seagull is sitting on a stacked pile of stones. So. Someone must have been up there, done a little bit of stone stacking. Oh man, check these ones out. <laughs> Just awesome. Well, all right, I've just pulled up on this cool little beach. Middle of nowhere, just going to take this as an opportunity to stretch my legs, um, maybe have a quick swim, reapply sunblock and have something to eat before we uh, push around and head on to Totoranui, where we're going to fill up our water bottles.
Much better. All right, here we are, Totoranui. Looks pretty nice. There must be a road here because there's cars in the car park. <laughs> so who knows what we'll find here. Tell your wife, there's a shop, might sneak, grab myself a sneaky little coffee. We'll see. Leaving Totoranui and uh, we're gonna paddle out around the corner, have a dive somewhere around there. Should be pretty good. Alright, I was just paddling out of the bay and uh, watching these two guys here, and uh, one of them's dropped a fishing rod overboard. So, probably lucky for them I happened to be there. I actually saw it go over, so I'm gonna have a look for it. My camera went, uh, card went full while I was looking for it, but I found it. So uh, I'll reunite it with yeah. its owner. <laughs> Sweet ease, right, eh? Cheers, man. No worries. Fucking best <laughs> of luck on the rest of it. Yeah, cheers, man. Right, eh? Well, I'll, um, yeah, I'll look. All right, I found a spot to have a swim. Um, don't know what I'm going to find. It's not really where I wanted to, but. I met a couple of divers actually from Dunedin, shout out to those boys, and uh, the point I wanted to dive they were heading for it, so uh, rather than have three divers there I'll just come around to the next point, and uh, we'll see what we can find here, the wind's blowing so. Nice cray. He's too big for me though, so I'm gonna let him go.
now. We made it, kayaks on the beach. Camp's up here. This is, uh, oh, the sun's bad. Okay, this is Anapai Bay. And uh, yeah, pretty happy to be on the beach. That was a pretty cool little dive. Shot a couple of uh, blue cod, as you would have seen. And uh, yeah, pull that big cray out and just decided that was just way too much for us we wouldn't eat it all we had no way of keeping it so yeah just decided to put it back um so yeah uh we're setting up camp now we've still got some of our party still haven't arrived they had a pretty tough walk today but uh we've got a camp set up in here under the manuka and uh, it's pretty nice with a pretty damn fine view. All right, I filled it up the blue cod. Just did a quick curry paste with it. So I've got um, some red curry paste, a bit of cream, blue cod. There's a bit of rice in there. And uh, it smells delicious, so we better give it a go. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh my god, that is so good. That blue cod is so tender. Mmm. Alright, well. Pretty much the end of day four. Beach is looking amazing. Yeah, so this was the last full day in the park. Um, tomorrow I got the big paddle. 30 k's down to... Marihau and uh, yeah it's gonna be gonna be tough it's been super super hot last couple of days and I expect tomorrow is gonna be the same should be a little bit of wind pushing me in that direction hopefully cross my fingers um, but yeah it's gonna be up early and just try and grunt it out so I guess we'll see you first thing in the morning All right, it's morning, day five, big paddle ahead. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Had my cup off, had a, had a bowl of cereal, just waiting to pack up the last bits of the gear from the girls, and I'm gonna hit the water. All right, it's a bit after six, finally ready to go. Let's get this kayak on the water, get this paddle on the road, so to speak. Just about probably another six hours worth of grinding these paddles to go. So I guess I'll turn the camera off, put some kilometers in. Oh, before I do, I've got to show you the sunrise. It's still pretty spectacular. All right. That's stage one done. I've just reeled off oh, probably about 10 k's or something, nine or 10 k's I think. Um, it's not going too badly. 
I'm a little bit sore in my shoulder and uh, I'm sort of almost starting to get blisters on my hand. I think I'll be all right. Uh, it's time for a, for a break. And I guess that's my first tip if you're doing a big paddle. You need to, you need to plan breaks. You don't want to be stopping every, every five paddle strokes. But um, I like to get into a good rhythm. Just grind out the paddles. Uh, break it down into smaller goals um, to get there. So I sort of figured that I'd do 10Ks and then stop, have a break, have something to eat and that. And then I'll probably do another 10Ks or so. Probably won't be quite as fast as the first 10. And then stop again, have, some, have a break, have something to eat and drink and things. And uh, yeah, like any big goal, break it up into small manageable goals and uh, you'll get there in the end. So I'm going to stop talking, have a bit of a feed, get some fluids into me, re-sunblock and uh, we'll peel off another 10Ks. Uh, all right, I've just rattled off another 10Ks, stopped a couple of times. One to have a bit of a pee, just jumped off the kayak, pissed in the water. And uh, second time to pull out the phone and message a few people once I was back in reception, deal with some of that stuff. So uh, I'm all sorted there. And uh, I'm about to pull back into a watering cove, which was the first place we stayed the first night. And uh, I'm going to refuel again get some more food into me so I thought this next tip I'd talk about what it requires how much energy you burn and everything when you're doing a big paddle like this you burn a massive amount of energy and you need to replace it you need to replace it regularly too if you go uh, low blood sugar or hypo glycemic you'll get all faint you get dizzy you get absolutely exhausted and you're pretty much not, no use to yourself at that stage. So if you're going to do a big paddle, you need to make sure you've got the nutrition to keep you going. Today I started with a big bowl of cereal um, and a cup of tea. And well, when I say big bowl, I mean chocolate block full, big bowl. And uh, my first break um, for the first 10 Ks, I ate two muesli bars and an up and go. And uh, this break here, I'm actually going to do one of the dehydrated packet meals that we've got. A bit, just a backcountry thing. And um, that should get me the last leg. I've got a few other things on board as well, if I, if I want them. There's a few treats, so to speak. Uh, we've got a packet of Chupa Chups, they're great. They're just are like a burst of sugar. It's really short lasting energy. But because you're burning it, if you're eating them while you're paddling and you're burning it, you won't get a sugar crash afterwards because you're literally going to burn all the energy that's in them. But uh, I'll often use uh, the Chupa Chups as like a treat to myself. So I'll say a thousand paddle strokes and then I can have one. And you have to count your paddle strokes. And if you, if you uh, lose count, you have to start from the start again. That way it just focuses your mind on counting and not on how hard everything is um, at the time it's a real good technique to use towards the end of a paddle so yeah if you're going to do a big paddle you need to make sure you've got plenty of plenty of energy um, that you can replenish your body with uh, and obviously um, oodles and oodles of water um, this was full it was a 1.5 litre it was full when I started out this morning I've done about 20 k's and I've drunk well over a litre of it and uh, I'll probably finish the rest of this while I'm having my meal and uh, top it up. So I'm going to land on the beach, cook up a meal, then we'll get the last leg out of the way. All right, I'm in the bay. That's Marahau over there. Got about probably three k's to go and uh, all downwind uh, which makes it rather pleasant so um, yeah let's uh, get this last bit out of the way and I'll talk to you at the, at the ramp
Yes, made it.